whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Robbery is the most prevalent of all crimes, and the one which is the most difficult to prevent. The ingredients of the crime are something of value, and a person willing to take some risk to get possession of it. On January 27th, Rita Hudson, employed by the International Diamond Imports Company, arrived at the railroad station to claim a shipment of diamonds consigned to her firm. A very simple procedure involving no risk since only Rita and her employer knew what the parcel contained. Oh, Rita. Did Miss Hudson get in yet? No, sir, she hasn't. Get out. Take a look around. Will you come in, please, Miss Stevens? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Rita's very late. She should have been here by now. Well, uh, would you like me to call the railroad station? We could call and see if she picked up the parcel. Well, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about. She's probably... You better call the station. Yes, sir. Would you please give me receiving? Yes, thank you. Look at them, Barton. Worth at least $35,000. Yeah. How did you know I had the diamonds? Who are you? Look, Mrs. Hudson. You're here, and there's nothing you can do about it. We've got the diamonds, and we're going to keep them. Oh, you are a couple of brave men, two of you, and you have to tie me up like this. What are you afraid of? We're not afraid of anything, Mrs. Hudson. We just don't want to have to hurt you. How did you know I had the diamonds? Now, look, shut up. We had enough problems without having a yapping woman around. Now, be quiet, or I'll have to quiet you. It must have been somebody close by, somebody who knows our office routine. You listen to me, lady. I don't want to hear any more questions out of you, nor I don't want to hear any talk out of you. You just sit there and you behave yourself, or else we're going to have to hurt you. So I suggest you play it smart. 10 o'clock, we got a two-hour wait. Beautiful. Matthews. Headquarters told me one of your employees disappeared with a consignment of diamonds worth about $35,000. Well, how did it happen? My assistant, Rita Hudson, went to the railroad station to pick up a consignment. It's ten minutes drive from here. She picked them up all right. I checked on that. Then vanished into thin air. You say she was your assistant? Yes. You see, I import from all over the world. So most of my correspondence is in a foreign language. Rita knew six languages. She took care of that side of it for me. 
Well, it sounds like a responsible position. It is. I can't understand why she did this. Well, maybe she didn't do it. Ever done any? She might have been robbed. I doubt that. Why? You see, she and I were the only ones that saw the correspondence relating to this consignment. Or knew it had arrived. You see, it was written in Dutch. Where do you keep your correspondence? Right here in Rita's desk. Miss Stevens is pinch hitting for Rita. We keep it right here in this top drawer, as you notice, on the lock and key. Well, it's easy to duplicate a key. Tell me, you a linguist, too? Not a very good one. Did Rita have a husband? Yes, as a matter of fact, I talked to him only a few moments ago. To find out if, for any chance, Rita had gone home after picking up the diamonds. The address is 713 North River Street. May I use your phone? Oh, Mr. Matthews. I'll be right with you. Operator, get me Highway Patrol headquarters, huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Van Dyst. Your receptionist said you were busy. She didn't want to let me in. Who are you? It's Rita's husband. Mike Hudson. Who are you? Matthews, Highway Patrol. All right, never mind that call. Can you tell us where your wife is, Mike? Uh, I'm here to find out. I got a call saying that Rita didn't come back here after picking up a consignment of diamonds. Now, what about it? I'm not accusing Rita. She's been so loyal. But the fact is that she vanished with $35,000 worth of diamonds. You think she stole them? I don't know. Dirty old... All right, all right, that's enough. This is going to get us no place. Come on, wait for me outside. You wanted me? Well, uh, yes, you see, uh, Rita and I were pretty good friends. Well, just office friends, but she did tell me something that might explain a lot of things. Yeah, what was it? Well, it's about her and her husband. What about him? Well, he just can't hold a job. With his temper, I can understand that, but what's that got to do with the diamonds? Well, I don't know. I just... I just thought maybe she got tired of supporting him. Oh, I see. Thanks. I'm going, Mr. Van Dyce. I want to take a look at the Hudson house. I'll be back. Will you mind what's left of the store, Lydia? I've got to go to see the insurance people. Uh, yes, Mr. Van Dyce. <laughs> Line, please. Hello, Ernest. Lydia. Where are you calling from? At the office, but it's okay. Van Dyce is gone. How's it going? Well, look, I'm a little scared. Highway Patrol's been here, and, well... I don't believe they think Rita took the diamonds. Oh, don't get jumpy, honey. They can't prove anything without Rita. How much longer before you meet Darrow? Very soon now. Oh, I wish I were going with you. And we could keep right on going. Right out of the state and out of the country. What's the matter with you? That would put the cops on your trail. Oh, Lydia, Lydia, look, you've got to stay put for a while. And honey, don't risk calling from the office, huh? Oh, okay. Search all you want. You won't find anything. Well, you gave us a pretty good description. When's the last time you saw her? This morning, when she left for work. How'd she behave? Is she all right? Did, did she say anything unusual? No. Did you and Rita fight very much? Some. What about what? Mostly about my temper. And look, I did most of the quarreling. She didn't. And she wouldn't steal either. Look, Mr. Hudson, I understand this, but I want you to stay right here. There's going to be an officer with you. He'll monitor all of your phone calls. You still think she's guilty, don't you? Look, guilty or not, i got to find her. Now, look, do you mind if I use your phone? Go ahead. Thanks. Highway Patrol headquarters, please. Highway Patrol Headquarters. This is Matthews. Will you report in yet? Yes, sir. He checked in quite a while ago. I told him about the robbery, and he went down to the depot to investigate. He should be back any minute. Wait a minute, sir. Here he is now. Hello? 
This is Matthews. Why don't you find out the station? Well, not too much. It might be a lead, though. 1476 checked out a car against the hot sheet. It had two men and a woman in it. Seemed to be in a hurry to leave the railroad station about the time Rita Hudson picked up the diamonds. Oh, then he got a license number, huh? Well, no, he didn't write it down. Didn't seem to be a reason to. But he does remember it was a two-tone gray four-door sedan. All right, look. An APB out on this. If Rita was taken, the consignment tip-off must have come from within the office. You think it could have been Van Dyst for the insurance money? Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you what, meet me outside of the Van Dyst building. You bring the undercover car, I'll bring mine. I'll switch with you there. Then I'll be in touch with you. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Mr. Hudson! I'm gonna leave you now. This is gonna be a stupid thing to say, but look, try not to worry. Okay. We'll find her. Thanks again. Yeah. Please let me go. You've got the diamonds. What more do you want? It's not a question of what we want, Mrs. Hudson. It's a question of what the cops want. They'd just love to have an eyewitness. Oh, relax. What are you going to do with me? Oh, let me take care of her. She's getting under my skin. I can't stand it. No, not here. But make no mistake, Mrs. Hudson. We will if we have to. Very soon, we're going to leave this house, and you'll walk very nicely out of it with us, get into the car, and we'll go for a ride. Eventually, we'll stop, and you'll get out when we think it's safe. How you get out, Mrs. Hudson, depends entirely upon you. That's right, Mrs. Hudson. It all depends on you. As I previously stated, I have been very fortunate in securing a perfect blue-white diamond of 12 carats. If you're interested in this rare diamond, please get in touch with me immediately. Any news, Mr. Matthews? Yes, we're making some progress. We're sure Rita left the railroad station with two men. We've got a description of the car and the license number. We're checking at headquarters right now. Won't take too long. Tell me something. Do all your outside calls go to the switchboard? Yes. Have your operator keep a record of all the numbers in the calls, will you? You think another of my employees is involved? Well, you told me all consignment records are kept in that desk drawer over there. Yes, and you pointed out how simple it is to duplicate a key. Yeah, that's right. We'll be in touch with you. Thanks a lot. Uh, is it all right if I go to lunch now, Mr. Van Dyce? Certainly, did you? Thank you. Take my car back to the station. Get another undercover car. I'll be in touch with you. Okay, good Bye. hunting. Matthews hoped she would, Lydia Harris panicked. Unaware that she was being followed, she sought out a public phone booth. Ernest? Yeah? Lydia, look, I'm scared. Where are you calling from? A phone booth. Good, what's wrong? Look, Highway Patrol spotted you and Rita. They've got a license number and a description of the car. What's more, they know another Van Dyce employee was involved. Oh, honey, I've told you over and over again that their job is to suspect everybody. Now, look, they can't prove anything without Rita. Oh, look, I don't care. I'm quitting Van Dyce as of right now, and I'm coming over there. No, no, wait. Uh, hold the line a minute. Trouble? Yeah. She's hit the panic button. Says the cops have somebody who got the license number and description of the car. That sounds like a police trick. That's what I think. They could have tricked her hoping she'd panic. But then if she's headed here, they'll be right behind her. 
Hey, listen, Lydia, there's no point in coming over here. We're going to leave in a few minutes to meet Darrow, anyhow. No. I I'm coming over there. Now, you wait for me, Ernest. All right, honey. We'll wait for you here. But hurry, huh? Well, she's coming anyway. We've got to get out of here fast. We're cleaning this up. Cops are following her. Let her lead them to the wrong place. Well, then you're cutting Lydia out of the deal? Sure, sure. It means more money for us, doesn't it? Yeah. Ed, what are we going to do with her? We'll take her along with us. She'll come in handy. Well, what do we want her with us for? The police will be on our heels anyway. the house at 1729 Front Street. Find out who lives there. I'll stand by. 10-4? 10-4. Ernie? Ernest? Ernest? Headquarters at 2150. 2150, bye. 1729 Front Street is being rented by an Ernest Sober. Find out all you can about him. Have Williams meet me at Zorber's house. 10-4? 10-4. Mr. Matthews, uh, oh, what are you doing here? I followed you. What for? Well, I want some information. Come on back inside. Well, I... Look, Mr. Matthews, I'll, I'll be glad to help you any way I can, but I, I just don't think there's anything. What do you know about Zilber? I don't even know anyone's name's over. Well, what are you doing here? We know he lives here. Now, come on, look. You see this? There's an H on here. This has got to be Rita Hudson's. This guy's playing here for a sucker. Oh, he's been here and gone. What are you fronting for him for? Okay. What do you want to know? You tipped Zover off that Rita was going to pick up the diamonds this morning. She was going to be alone. Is that right? Yeah. Who else is working with him? Well, his friend Chuck Barton and a... A man named Darrow. Do you know where they went? They were going to meet Darrow. They said here, but I don't... Yeah, I know. It's the wrong place. Huh? That's all I want to know. Come on, let's go. to headquarters. Headquarters, by. I want roadblocks on every road out of Stillwell and at every junction. Be on the lookout for a car described by 1476. Another car is going to meet it. Now, hold on. Ever seen this, Darrow? Uh -huh. All right, describe it. Uh, well, uh, he's about 50 with uh, gray hair and a mustache. I guess he's about uh, a 5'10". Thanks. The other car will be driven by Darrow. He's about 50 years old, got white hair and a mustache. 10-4? Ten 10-4. Four? Ten four.
You want her out of the car? No, I'll leave her there for the time being. Waiting's the part I hate. Time's on our side now, Barton. While the cops are wondering what Lydia's doing in my house, we'll be on our way east with Darrell. Uh, we should get here. Turn your motor off and step out of the car, please. Darrell's late. I wonder what's keeping him. Maybe they got Lydia by now. She'd talk. So what? What could she tell him? She doesn't know where we are. Well, we'd better get another car fast. They might just have a description of this one. We leave in Darrell's convertible when he gets here. May I see your driver's license, please? I don't understand. What's the trouble? Take it out of your wallet, please. You're under arrest, Mr. Darrell. On what charge? Grand theft. Turn around and put your hands on the car. Thirty-two twenty to headquarters. Headquarters by. I just stopped suspect Darrow. Had to shoot him. Send an ambulance to Route Twenty-One, five miles south of Sixty. Ten four. Ten four. Zoburn and Barton. Those are the other two men? Well, it might help you if you told me where you were going to meet them. Mr. Twenty was right about the position of Zuber's car. He's got to be right over this hill here. What if Rita Hudson's still with him? Well, we can't risk her neck. Now, right here. You stay with her. I'm going to take a look. I can't wait anymore. It's too risky. Yeah, Darrell may have been picked up by now. Well, let's beat it. We've got the diamonds. But he's got the customers for them. We'll sell them ourselves. I guess you're right. Let's get out of here. Well, we got to pick up another car. We can do that in town. All right, hold it! How are we going to get out of here? Here comes a car. I'll grab it. Okay, buddy, out of the car. Come on, out of the car. You heard me out of the car. Come on, move. Right where you are, hold it. All right, now turn around and put your hands on top of the car. I frisk him. Come on up. You're all right, huh? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Untie her. Oh, by the way, you all right, too? Yeah, I'm okay. Lucky. Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters by. Hey, Vincent and Corin are out here right away. Ten four. Ten four. I hope you'll be with us next week. Until then, remember, no matter how new, 
The safest device in your car is you. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week.